Hey guys, Gillian here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing wonderful. If you're not, I pray that the good Lord will see you through whatever it is you're going through. In Jesus' name, Amen. I am coming to you guys with a hair tutorial. I very lazy when it comes to my hair. Like I do my own hair, so I'm very lazy. But the good thing with doing your own hair is that you can change your style anytime you want. I like coming up with different styles that look cute and you have to spend too much money for it. Pinky here is my best friend. This one, I created Afro ponytail. It looks like my hair, but you know, it's not my hair. It's like cheating, but a good kind of cheating. Like there's good kind of cheating. I don't know. So. I decided to show you guys my easy way that I do my ponytail that looks natural. And the good part is that it's crochet in, so even if the wind is blowing, it's not gonna pull it off for you. Just saying, because uh, this wind in the winter is not joking. If your hair is softer, you might be able to keep this for a while, but because my hair is really, really hot. If to keep to lay down the edges is a problem. Everything I use in this tutorial is in the description box if you want to check it out. I usually use black so because it looks like my hair. It not take long. The highest you can take to do this hair is 10 minutes. 20 minutes if you're really really slow, you know. If you want to see how I create this beautiful afro ponytail keep watching and thank you so very much for watching my hair is natural went to the salon on the flat iron for me my hair is really really stubborn and thick and very hard to manage flat iron it so it'll be a little easier for me to manage gel usually doesn't do anything for my hair it doesn't matter what kind of gel i'm gonna do a bun on the back i will add um kinky hair Everything is already in it except gel brush. After doing this, I'm gonna just adding gel and brushing it back. I'm gonna be using Eco Styler gel and pushing smooth and shine curl activator gel. These two. I had to lay down very well. You're gonna need a lot of gel. Like when you put gel on your hair, it gets really, really white after after a while. One, I don't experience too much of that. My hair is long. If your hair is short, the hairs are gonna be standing up. So why don't this instead of using your hand, you use a brush instead of your hands? But because my hair is long enough, it is hot ironed. So it's staying down pretty well. Now I'm just using a band. I don't know what these bands are called. But I do know that they are headbands. I'm just gonna hold it with two or three of these. The back part, we can keep adding gel onto it lay down but the kinky hair is gonna cover it anyways I don't think I need to put gel on it crochet this in my hair so just kinky hair if you go to your beauty supply ask for them to show you kinky hair that's how it comes so I'm gonna cut it into three or four depend how long and thick I want it to be you do that and then you do this. See, now it becomes three parts. And just cut it up and start crocheting it in your hair. You can split each part or you can just crochet just the way it is. But I'm gonna split each part into two. In the hair, I fold it around my finger, a hole in between it. It's gonna do that all around my bun until it's thick enough the way I want it to be. 
until I'm done. The thing with doing your own hair is that you cannot see the back. Pretty much guessing where I think it's supposed to be, if that makes sense. If you have stubborn hair like my hair, you learn how to work around it. If I let it dry before I crochet this, lines that waking up when I start messing with why I just do this and a little more gel tied and just let it be it into two instead of three because I wanted to cover the short part on the inside Some are tighter than other ones, so I'm gonna open them up, rough it, and trim it. I'm gonna put a little more gel on the front part, and then I just tie. Gel is not my friend. before I let it dry so I don't have to mess with it at all that's the way I have to do it but because it works for me that way it might not be the same for somebody else or it might not be the same for you so I'm just gonna use my hairband and just tie it really hard because I want this really tight and lay down you don't have to hold it as hard as I am. Like I said, I know my hair. I literally have to give myself a migraine before it can look really sleek. Beauty is pain. I let it dry overnight. This is the final result of the hair you can make it totally small or <laughs> even bigger than mine because <laughs> i think if i make it too big my face will look weird i like my afro just it depends how good you can keep this uh, my hair is hard like i said i can keep adding gel because i think after three days or four depend how good i keep it <laughs> it might start you know getting rough on the edges but you can always add gel but the thing with gel is that if you put too much gel it starts getting too white and messy at least to me anyways this one is a week and you can still redo it over subscribe and join our growing family here on YouTube if you have thank you so very much God bless you and I'll see you guys in my next video be blessed bye guys